on the table today we are trying something a little bit different. We are checking out a Star Wars droid inventor kit from Little Bits, who graciously donated to Squirrel Stampede to take a look at. Normally we're looking at... <coughs> Let me speak, R2. Normally we look at non-electric toys like Lego and action figures, but this kind of toy has a little more attitude to it. Definitely a little bit of a learning curve on something like this. You have to put your technical hat on today. So let's go through this droid inventor kit and see some of the things that this set can do. I think he's excited. And so is Squirrelbot2000. On the table again, it's the Star Wars droid inventor kit. On the back of the box, number one, create. Bring your droid to life with easy assembly. Number two, play. Detach your droid. Tricks like navigating an obstacle course and defending your room. Control with the little bit Star Wars app. Movement, force mode, authentic sounds, 20 plus activities. And number three, invent. Design any droid you can dream up. Hmm, it's all about that milk carton droid. Also, customize with included stickers. Enough box talk, let's open this thing up. Okay, we've made it to the first stage of opening, and it looks like we need to start off by building this circuit. So let's see if we can figure this thing out. Nine volt battery included. Looks like we're gonna need one of these. One of these, looks like one of these things, and we should be good to go. Hmm, okay, see how well these plug and play. Ah, look at that, very cool, magnetic. Simple as that. And there would be our initial circuit. What happens when we power this thing on? Hey, hey. we have life. Now the next stage is downloading the Droid Inventor app on your phone or smart device, and this thing will help you build and control your droid. I've loaded up my app, and it looks like the first thing we're gonna work on is base assembly, so let's see what happens as I build this droid up. Went through a quick walkthrough on the phone to build this first circuit. Now we're going to hopefully connect the Bluetooth. And we are connected, whew! Finally, there we go, not bad. Mission complete, woohoo! Okay, we hear a droid but can't see one, keep building. So now what's up? Oh boy, technical stuff. So we're gonna try to build this now. Okay, we've added a couple more bits to this project. Now let's try to work on some internal structure real quick. Okay, we've done some things. I think we need to turn this thing back on. Feeling more R2-like. Now you can drive your droid. Hmm, how are we gonna do that? All right, so we're gonna connect up again. So far, that's been working really well. Ah, so we do get a little turning and a little straight, but we're gonna work on this a little more. Mission complete. Okay, now let's build the body of this droid. We're gonna power off again. Looks like it's always good to power off when you're building. That way you don't explode something. And looks like we've constructed the main body of R2-D2 here or any droid that you'd like to call it. 
I love the transparency plastic. I think the only problem I'm having so far is making sure these side legs are tightly snapped in. Uh, this leg does not seem to want to go in all the way. I'm going to have to work on that a little later. But the rest of the structure is pretty tight and holds your inner elements safe and sound. Okay, the next thing we need to really work on is droid style and customize this as your own. We have three sheets of stickers. We have blue, we have red, and we have white to customize this up. But I'll go with blue. Let's be traditional. And I'll start placing these up around the main dome. So I did a real light install of the decals. Uh, some of them are a little tricky on the larger panels. The stickers behave almost like vinyl, so that's nice as they lay down. But it's always hard to lay a sticker down on something that's rounded or dome-shaped. It's going to start bubbling up on you. So I probably will remove any large panel stickers just because the bubbling bothers me. But I think just a few will do the trick and will kind of highlight your droid and make it stand out. It looks like we have a few more squirrels on the table interested in how this droid inventor kit will run. With the app going, you don't have to always play missions. You can also just hit the droid controls here. This stick will move it forward, back, and do some turning. And then your sounds are right here. Whoa. Hmm. For some reason, my droid wants to continuously move backwards really slowly. I'll have to figure that out a little later. It takes a little while to practice your droid. Watch where you're going. But after a while, I think I'm getting the hang of it. What are you doing? Oh, hey! Oh, sorry guys. It might be just a little easier to control if you're standing behind it. Right now I'm kind of doing things in reverse on the table. Yeah, tell me about it. Let's test out a training mission. How about the draw mode? That might be kind of fun. Access there and begin your mission. Looks like we have a marker holder and I've already installed on the back. I have a nice smooth surface so I'm just going to use a dry erase marker and I'll place this down the back here and onto the table. Then I'll make sure R2 is on and I think we're synced up again. How about that for writing secret messages or drawing a very detailed squirrel across the table? That draw mission was pretty fun. What other missions do we have available on this thing? Well, we have your droid style, just moving around, obstacle courses, secret message, draw mode again. Then we have disassembly, intruder alarm, arm wave, self-navigation, force mode, and head controls. Lots of things to keep you busy with this thing. Let's try to see that classic R2-D2 dome rotation. That should be fun. I have a feeling we're going to have to take it apart though because some of the mechanisms that make it run are needing to be switched up to make the head rotate. So let's see what happens. There we go. Rotation. Your classic R2-D2 astromech droid head rotation. How you doing, R2? <laughs> I see. What's your favorite thing to do, R2? Ah, uh, I see. Not bad at all. That's a fun little feature. You know, I kind of want to watch this droid wave goodbye, so let's finish with that final project. I might have to take a few things apart, so here we go. And we get to use the little bit's proximity sensor. Ooh.
Okay, I think we're all set up here. R2, are you ready to say goodbye? And he did. Setting up that mission was probably my most difficult build. I had a little bit trouble getting the arm to move, but it turned out I didn't have my green and my orange connected very well. So anytime you have something that doesn't seem to work right, just unattach and reattach, and that seems to have cleared most of the problems that I've run into. Electronics can certainly be tricky, especially when droids are involved. The trick is patience and following instructions, and you should be able to get things going just right. Well, those are some of the most fun missions that I thought were fun to test out. There are several more, like the intruder alarm and force mode you'll have to test for yourself. I don't want to spoil everything. It is Star Wars. As for the custom head and custom body on the back of the package, simply just remove your outer casing, see if you can custom something up, and place over the little bit parts without having them detach. You should be able to build some sort of moving milk carton. Overall, the toy functioned pretty well as long as you're into reading instructions very carefully and then having the patience to troubleshoot if something didn't turn out right. Again, most of the problems can be solved by uncoupling the magnetic connectors and then recoupling them. Also making sure that the various switches are in the right spots. And with my DC motor, I've noticed I may have a little problem with my connection right here. I've unplugged it and replugged it a few times and that has helped turn it back on. I'm sure all of these problems are things that Luke Skywalker has run into in keeping his R2-D2 unit running correctly. Why are you so big all of a sudden? Star Wars Droid Inventor Kit from Little Bits appears on store shelves September 1st, 2017. They run about $99.95. You can find them at Walmart, Apple Store, Amazon, LittleBits.com. If you are heavy into tech toys, construction, and toys brought to life by your smart devices, this could be the Star Wars toy for you. It is a challenging kit, so be sure to have your thinking squirrel cap on. That's what I have to say about that. Squirrels would use the droid arm to crack nuts. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.